Hi there, welcome to part number Tres. three of Bohemian Rhapsody. Congratulations for making it this far. If you know, you've done the first two parts. <laughs> if not, congratulations for starting with part three. Arguably the best part because it's the, and it says exactly those words in the full song sheet, it's the crazy opera time. <laughs> it's right after the solo. <laughs> And then we arrive here. You remember, it's end of part two. So this is a B. This is our first chord, and this is what we're gonna be busy with at the very start of the operatic bit. So make sure that you've got four, three, two, two. You can have your index on two strings, or your index all across all the strings on fret number two. It's the same, it doesn't matter. And what you want to do is just strum down and relax the thumb that's pinching between the thumb and the index and relax the hand a bit right after you play. So instead of having this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you get one and a little gap and a two and a stop of the sound and a little gap and a three and a stop and a four and a stop. And so it's the difference between this and this. What I'm doing is every time I'm strumming down, I'm pinching, I'm tensing the hand behind the neck of the ukulele. With, you know, nicely. <laughs> not with any, not with too much uh, tension or anything, but just pressing down, relaxing, pressing down, relaxing. So that's what we've got eight times as this part starts. And I hope you've enjoyed that because that was the really easy part of the tutorial. <laughs> so what we need to do is switch quite fast between the E and the B. And then we also need a D diminished. And what's that? That's a one, two, one, two. So first fret, second fret, first fret, second fret. That's the frets for all four strings. And that's the four chords you need for those two first lines. E, I, and you start singing on an E4. One, two, three, four. I, C, A, D diminished. Little, back with the index. E, et, O, B, of, A. D diminished, one, two, and two, man, B, scara, E, moosh, same, scara, moosh, B, will you do the fun, dun, dun. That's quite fun, of course, to play quite fast. I see a little silhouette of a man, scara, moosh, scara, moosh, will you do the fun, dun, from the bolts of lightning, very, very frightening me. That's the line afterwards, E flat. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening me. And I was highlighting there for you and me also, <laughs> the notes that we're supposed to sing, or that you can sing there. Of course, when there's harmonies, that means there's this, there's this, this lots of notes happening at the same time. So, I wrote them at the end of the line, E3, E1, A0, A1, A2. So you can check that you're singing the right ones if you want. Because it's quite tricky to find the right notes there, lots of different chords are changing over here. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening me. So on the first two lines, I've actually got where you can play two down strums, but it goes so fast that just playing the chords once can be enough. Let's do Everything from the beginning. Let's go. B. 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 I see a little silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, scaramouche, will you do the fandango? Thunderbolts of lightning, very, very frightening me. <laughs> so you might want to slow that down 20 times so that you can do the same thing as me, uh, which is practice it slowly beforehand. Then we arrive to the Galileo bits. Now we're gonna sing high or higher than your low voice on E2, E4. Galileo, and then low voice. A2, A3, A2, C, C, E2, E4, E2, Galileo. And then Galileo, but on these notes. Gali, but low. Galileo. And again, third line. Galileo, and low. On these notes, Galileo Figaro, and then the Magnifico is higher up, and you play it on A3. Magnifico. So by 
uh, following the notes that are written, you can find what you're supposed to play on the ukulele. Now what's in parentheses and underlined, that's just to guide you, but what's actually in bold, you can play at the same time as you sing. Let's do that again. E2, E4, let's just sing that. Galileo, lo, ga, check. Galileo, other voice. Gali, check. Galileo. And then play at the same time. Galileo Figaro. A3. Magnifico. A3301. C2, C0. So just by following the fret number and the string, you're guided through this very tricky part of the melody that's made very simple with this system if you get a little bit used to letter and number. There's a little something extra, and can you believe it? We've only made it this far after so many minutes. Yes, you can believe it because you're used to my tutorials. <laughs> and I like to suggest different avenues of music to you. That's, that's what I like to do. So, uh, what we can do here is instead of just having Galileo Figaro, Galileo Figaro, 2232032 on the E string, we can actually have the fourth underneath two, which means we're going to play the same thing to start off with on both the E and the A strings. Galileo Figaro. Ah, it doesn't work for E and C string to play the same thing on the string underneath. So we're going to do same thing minus one fret. So it's going to be two, three, and one, two. Galileo Figaro. Galileo Figaro. And that's actually not in the song sheet because it was too confusing <laughs> to, to write out. But now you know, and that's something you can add. Let's do the Galileos again, and let's do the high really high. So then we have that thing from the song. Galileo, 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 Galileo Figaro. Magnifico. I'm, I'm just a poor boy. Then we... Uh, go back to the I'm just a poor boy and actually these chords here you go that's the song and that's the, the chords that you need there you go you may remember this from the first part of the video where we've got this is the D flat we never play the top string the A string is muted with your index that's lying on it it's pressing on the E string but lying on the A string D flat C B C I, I'm just a poor boy no and all you have to do is move one fret up or down. Magnifico, I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. So what you can do is look at your ring finger. Place the fingers, ring finger on six. So you've got these three notes. I'm just a poor boy. D flat one up, nobody loves me. And then what are we gonna do? This is very reminiscent of the first part also. You're gonna just take your ukulele, put your index all across the fifth frets, and then place an F shape there. Hop, and the little finger on fret three of the A string. Hop, that's your high F over there. E, and then back to C shape, which is the F. He's just, uh, and then diminished. Four, five, four, five. Poor boy. And actually, you don't need to play the whole C shape here. You can see this is a C shape with a barred five. You can just play five, five, five muted if you want. That's a bit easier for me anyway, I find. He's just a poor boy. And then back to the B flat, which is seven, five, six, eight. From a poor family. Let's do that again quite slowly, string by string. He's F just a F diminished boy, F boy, B flat from a boy, F, F diminished family. Back to the B flat, which is this F shape up here. Spare him his F shape. Live from this G7. You, you know this chord. I know this chord. It's the G7. Monstrosity. <laughs> bit faster. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. Spare him his life from this monstrosity. 
Oh, what's going on there? Well, that's the same as in the intro also. You recognize G5 twice, and then the same shape for the B flat that we had in the line just before, but except we pluck strings one and three, and then four alone. A8, five, five, A8, index one fret down, four, four, A8, index three, three, and plug A8. You know, remember that's at the beginning. I'm just a poor boy, I need... Same here, except this is about three times faster. Easy come, easy go, will you let me go? We've got these chords just before, and then C and F. Bismillah, F, no. And then on the C, C, F, C7, F, C, you can do it up, down, up, down, up, down. C, C, F, C, F, C. Except the C7, we're not playing it like this. We're playing the C7, three, open, open, three. And that's going to be really practical to play this. C, uh, C, C, F, C7, F, C. And you can even hear the We will not let you go on the G string. So it's all perfect. <laughs> It's all wonderful for the ukulele. I'm so glad we, we, we're playing it, you know, two semitones up, and then we'll tune it down for a play along or something. We'll see what we do with that. <laughs> Bismillah. So exclamation mark, we play it once very loud. No, we will not let you go. Or you can actually sing a different voice. We will not let you go. Bismillah. No, we will not let you go. Let him go. The other choir asks, actually, could you? Let him go. And then there's lots of this. Bismillah. We will not let you go. Let me go. Will not let me go. Let me go. We will not let you go. But if you start with a will not let you go, then it's a down. Will not let you go. Let me go. Will not let you go. Let me go. Ah, and here we have the notes. <laughs> I remember now what I've put in here. We have the notes. Let me go. Of the little voice going, oh, 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 and then the no, 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 no. Oh, mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. So F8, what does that mean? I say F8 because it's an F with a root note and the octave, which is eight notes higher. But basically what I mean with F8 is just index all across the fives and little finger up on the eight. Coincidentally, that's not why it's called F8. It's called F8 because there's an octave in the chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's just a little notation that I find quite handy. Anyway, the nose. No, 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 no. <laughs> and if somebody wants to write down exact notes for the nose, um, you're, you're welcome to do that. Maybe, maybe Juliana, who teaches the beginner lessons on Saturdays, is a good uh, is a good chat for somebody who'd want to. Spend some time on that, on the nose. I'm leaving that open. I can do it, but I'm leaving it open if somebody wants to have a shot. What notes do we sing on the nose? I just sort of shout and it works. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. Beelzebub, has the devil put a sign for me, for me, for me? And then we enter part four of the tutorial. Hello, welcome to part... No, no, <laughs> next time. Oh, you know what, let's do it once. It's a very operatic setting too, with the little um, stage noises. I see a little silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, scaramouche, will you do the fandango? Thunderbolts of lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo, 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 oh, Galileo Figaro, Magnifica. I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. Spare him his life from this monstrosity. Do -do 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 easy come, easy go. Will you let me go? Bismillah, no, we will not let you go. Let him go. We will not let you go. Let we will not let you go, let me go, will not let me go, let me go, will not let me go, let me go. Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 oh, 
mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go, be as a dog, has a E7 devil put aside for me. C at nine, just open up five for me, for me. E, uh, oh, oh, six, seven, and then the riff. And see you next time for that part of the song. Enjoy. Bye-bye.